for reaction to that and to discuss student safety at uh, tertiary institutions. We're now joined by Higher Education Director General uh, Gwebin Kundla Konde. Uh, DG, good morning to you. Is your department aware of this gruesome murder of this young lady in such a, a heinous uh, crime that's been committed here? Uh, good morning, Koli, and uh, to the listeners. Uh, we got these uh, set uh, messages, you know, uh, early this morning uh, in respect to this uh, gruesome matter, and we would like really to express our heartfelt condolences to the family of Lit to Litaba as well as uh, the student population and the management staff Mm. of Goldfield Stewart College. Mm. Uh, it's a matter really that has actually shocked us in the manner in which it has happened and also taking a life of uh, such a young lady uh, whose wealth uh, has been in her hands. Uh, mm. It's really a matter that we have to condemn uh, quite seriously as a country. Uh, DG, it appears that uh, the deceased was a student at uh, an institution called Goldfields Tivet College in Valcom. Have you been able to get a hold of the principal at that institution who possibly would have explained to you what actually led to the murder of one of uh, their students? I have not managed to get hold of the principal as yet, but I spoke to the regional manager, uh, what seems to be coming out up is that uh, the matter actually, the incident uh, actually happened in the community. Mm. Uh, the circumstances and the reasons thereof, we don't know as yet. Those are the things that uh, we are still establishing. All right, so uh, this gruesome murder, clearly, uh, it does appear, as you say, it could have happened outside of uh, the campus uh, environment. But uh, nonetheless, let's launch into uh, the safety and security measures around the campuses, uh, DG, uh, if we can. Uh, what is the department's policy around that? Because these are two students who appear to have been going to the same institution. Uh, this is a matter that uh, we have been uh, addressing, you know, as a department. And in each and every institution in our country, there are measures that are put in place in terms of policy as well as uh, structure, structural measures uh, in order to, one, to proactively address any threat in respect to sexual harassment or violence in our campuses, hmm. and also putting measures in place uh, to assist the victims whenever that actually happens in terms of support structures, systems, and the, also ensuring that we work collaboratively with law enforcement agents so that the perpetrators can actually help to account and answer for their, for their deeds. Did so you... other hmm. possible other interventions are looking at the improving institutional responses to gender-based violence and sexual harassment, you know, in the overall. Uh, did you, we know that uh, in March this year, the uh, academics from higher education sector uh, wrote to the minister wanting this matter of gender-based violence and sexual harassment at institutions uh, to be addressed. Subsequent to that, a task team was set up. What has it been able to uh, uncover? No, the task, team, the task team is still hard at work. Uh, it will then provide an important framework uh, for addressing many of other concerns that have been raised by these academics and also other matters that are of our observation because we want to ensure that we strengthen uh, at a policy level in terms of framework as well as basic facilities that would be in place in each and every institution in order to be able to contend uh, with the gender-based violence in our institutions and also ensuring that those who could be found engaged in such gruesome activities uh, are getting uh, a 
fair chance of them answering for their deeds and uh, getting uh, appropriate sentences so that uh, this matter will really root out of the practices uh, in society as well as in our institution. All right. Uh, thank you very much uh, for your time. That was the Higher Education Director General, Gwebindlala Konde, uh, speaking on behalf of the department there in relation to this uh, gruesome case of a murder of a student in Valcom.